Fuel bills are up, and so are the number in fuel poverty. Keeping warm this winter is a struggle for millions in the UK, especially here in Norwich. Not all of them will make it. This is Great Yarmouth Power Station, one of several that provides energy to homes in Norwich. The big six energy companies blame the price increase on a rise in wholesale prices, but wholesale prices have actually fallen. According to figures obtained by Age UK in 2008, of the 57,976 households in Norwich, 7,930 were found to be in fuel poverty. That is a figure of 13.7%. Mrs Thompson is one of those 13.7%. We were put in contact with her here at Norwich's Age UK charity headquarters. She agreed to tell us her story. I live on, on my widow's pension, which is not very much. 65 pounds a week isn't a lot. Energy companies should be uh, asked to be more transparent in their billing. In the UK, the six major energy companies control 99% of the gas and electricity market. Yes, I know. They, wanted, they demanded that I pay in full all the money. I said, you can come and put me in jail because the only money that I can give you is 10 pounds a week. I've been fighting with the EO from the very beginning. But they're not they're not there to solve your problem. They're simply answering the phone. But they're so opaque in their charges. They never are helpful. They're never helpful. They are never helpful, no. All they do is to tell you how much you owe and why you owe it. In Britain, the number of those in fuel poverty is expected to rise from four to six and a half million. According to the government gas and electricity regulator, Ofgem, the profits of the energy companies have trebled since last winter. Compared to last year, the government's winter fuel allowance is now £50 lower for the over 65s and £100 lower for those over 80 years old. We contacted all six of the major energy companies but got no response. We spoke to the MP for Norwich South, Simon Wright, and he sympathised with people like Mrs Thompson, but at the same time felt the government was doing all it can.